what is up my peoples uh before we start this video off officially i'm sorry i have to start the video off this way but um i know it's been a few days since i last uploaded and i just want to reassure everyone um that it's not intentional sometimes life just happens and uh just gotta tend to those needs man just gotta tend to those needs but uh now for the real reason we are here um since i'm not uploading midnight train today uh I figured I'd share a moment with you guys because this game right here is like this game I have so many memories I mean it's not a secret I might as well show you Call of Duty wait is it like can you guys see it Call of Duty World at War this game is like one of my top three Call of Duty's of all time when Call of Duty was actually good but um like everything from this game from the zombies to the campaign first of all you had to play the campaign to even play the zombies I mean they, that's like an incentive there's like oh no you want zombies you gotta play that freaking campaign. <laughs> uh, I forgot to mention the main menu of this freaking game. I mean, check it out. It just set the tone from the jump, man. Listen to this freaking music real quick. You see how this sucker just running at you from the fog? Like, come on. Like, if you was playing this back then, this joint legit scared you at least a little bit. And don't lie, because I know it did. But yeah, taking it back to 2008, I remember specifically, I got this game on my birthday just before Christmas, and uh, shout out to my dad, because he's the one that got it for me. He accidentally introduced me to like quite a few games, uh, Final Fantasy VII, to be exact, and this one, um, actually, some PS2 games too. He's not a gamer like that, but yeah, appreciate you, dad. <clears throat> yeah, I got this game uh, on my birthday, Four days before Christmas, um, it's just it was such a freaking good time, man. Like I hopped on this game quick, straight to the campaign because you had to play it. Like I said, to get to zombies, and then because um, I'm the zombie slayer, <laughs> then obviously I played uh, multiplayer and stuff like that. But this game got me through a portion of high school too. Like this game was clutch. This game was uh, really clutch. I remember specifically. Um, me and a friend of mine and like two randoms because i think like the uh cap was like four people to play zombies like we'd play that joint to like three in the morning no joke three in the morning just just slaying freaking zombies and then uh there was this glitch where you could go upstairs it was like the the default map i don't know how to say it but it, in german it means like night of the dead i'm not even gonna try to pronounce the freaking name because i'm gonna butcher it because that's i just butcher names sometimes but um yeah, we did this uh, glitch upstairs next to like the cabinet that had like a sniper in it. And it was just four of us back there. And it like created like this invisible barrier. I'm sure some of you guys know what I'm talking about. They couldn't get by the joint and we were just like going sick, just going sick. One had the ray gun, the browning uh, machine gun. That was, that was actually a good weapon to have too. The ray gun, machine gun, shotgun kind of got Shotgun kind of got washed after, like, I don't know, round 15 or 20 or something like that. So, ended up tossing that joint. But uh, it was just, it was like all around just a good time, man. And dang, it was a freaking good time playing this freaking game. A lot of freaking memories with this game. Uh, but yeah, I just want to share this moment with you guys because I just picked this up recently. I had to. I seen it. Shout out to my dad again for... Just, I don't know what made him get me this game. Like, I don't know what made him get me this game. He was just like, here, son, here's a game. Here you go. <laughs> Call of Duty World at War. Multiplayer was freaking awesome. All around good game, man. But, uh, yeah. Peace.